So sit back and enjoy it. Dartmouth and Merrimack. As Mike said, the team's playing here in North Andover for the first time since 2002. The puck is on the ice. We are underway. Welsh are over the line. He's got uh, Jeffries in front, and Jeffries was in, but shot it wide on the nice send-in by Mac Welsher. Puck fought for in deep. Jeffries centers it. Scott score! Jeffries centers it. Welsher buries it. And Merrimack takes a 1-0 lead at 425. Really good scoring chance. Another one there. Merrimack ended up uh, pulling it back out of the zone, but going to do a better job with the puck. Merrimack player upended. Here's a score from outside the far circle. Taking that drive for Dartmouth with Sean Chisholm. And he sends it over the shoulder of Borgiel. And it's a, a goal for Dartmouth at 627. So the big green able to answer. And this should be the uh, Pierce with the goal. He does a great job here getting the puck there and finding a way to get it through some traffic there. See one of the Warriors knocked down there, but he skates all the way in. He sees a lot of space there. Uh, top of the left circle with some traffic. He gets it in on net and beats Borgiel with the shot up high. Get out of there. They're going to have another chance here. Walsh into the zone. Trying to dipsy do his way in on the follow up. Force mark. Save. Walsh. Save. Second try. Saves. And how did that puck not go in as Stevenson sprawls to block it? And that's it for the second period. And that was almost a heck. game winning goal right there. All close to be with four minutes to left. Now Markle swings one cross ice. Quick shot, score! And Pierce will get his second goal of the game. Markle set the play, and it was Pierce that finished it off. And this goal comes at the 15-18 mark, and Dartmouth, for the first time tonight, has taken the lead. It's 2-1, to one. big green. First one didn't go in, but the second one did there. Good work in the corner by the big green. Markle's able to get it over to his defensive partner, Pierce. He scores from the same place where he scored the first one back in the first period through a screen. Second goal of the year, second. Vanell gets around Urbank. Vanell, Vanell at the far circle, right on the front, back into Messner, save, score! Nick Messner knocks in his own rebound, and the Warriors answer at the 16-26 mark. As it stands, this game goes into the record books as a tie. And, uh, and that's it. Each club gets a tie on their record. So the final score is Merrimack 2 and Dartmouth 2.